The first lesson is written in the second book of the Kings, the 19th chapter, beginning the first verse. When King Hezekiah heard the challenge of the commander of the Assyrian army, he tore his clothes, covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliakim, who was in charge of the palace, and Shebna the secretary, and the senior priests covered with sackcloth to the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos. They said to him, Thus says Hezekiah, This day is a day of distress, of rebuke and of disgrace. Children have come to birth, and there is no strength to bring them forth. It may be that the Lord your God heard all the words of Rabshacheh, whom his master, the king of Assyria, has sent to mock the living God, and will rebuke the words that the Lord your God has heard. Therefore, lift up your prayer for the remnant that is left. When the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, Isaiah said to them, Say to your master, Thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid because of the words that you have heard, with which the servants of the king of Assyria have reviled me. I myself will put a spirit in him, so that he shall hear a rumour and return to his own land. I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. Then Rabshakeh returned, and found the king of Assyria fighting against Libna, for he had heard that the king had left Lachish. When the king heard concerning King Tirhacha of Ethiopia, see, he has set out to fight against you. He sent messengers again to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall you speak to King Hezekiah of Judah. Do not let your God on whom you rely deceive you by promising that Jerusalem will not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. See, you have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands, destroying them utterly. Shall you be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered them, the nations that my predecessors destroyed, Gozan, Haran, Rezef, and the people of Eden who were in Telassar? Where is the king of Hamath, the king of Arpad, the king of the city of Sepharvaim, the king of Hena, or the king of Ivar? Hezekiah received the letter from the hands of the messengers and read it. Then Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord, the God of Israel, who are enthroned above the cherubim, you are God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he has sent to mock the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands, and have hurled their gods into the fire, though they were no gods but the work of human hands, wood and stone, and so they were destroyed. So now, O Lord our God, save us, I pray you, from his hand, so that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you, O Lord, are God alone. Here endeth the first lesson.
The second lesson is written in the Epistle to the Philippians, the second chapter, beginning the 14th verse. Do all things without murmuring and arguing, so that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, in which you shine like stars in the world. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ that I did not run in vain or labour in vain. But even if I am being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and the offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you, and in the same way you also must be glad and rejoice with me. I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, so that I may be cheered by news of you. I have no one like him who will be genuinely concerned for your welfare. All of them are seeking their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. But Timothy's worth you know, how like a son with a father he has served me in the work of the gospel. I hope, therefore, to send him as soon as I see how things go with me, and I trust in the Lord that I will also come soon. Still, I think it necessary to send you Epaphroditus, my brother and co-worker and fellow soldier, your messenger and minister to my need. For he has been longing for all of you, and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill. He was indeed so ill that he nearly died, but God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but on me also, so that I would not have one sorrow after another. I am the more eager to send him, therefore, in order that you may rejoice at seeing him again, and that I may be less anxious. Welcome him, then, in the Lord, with all joy, and honour such people because he came close to death for the work of Christ, risking his life to make up for those services that you could not give me. Here endeth the second lesson.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. Ete matu e te rangi i karangatia mātou ki a riti ke te tamariki nohi nohi e te mea no o te pēne e te rangatiratanga o te rangi. Ka whakawhatau mātou mō tarore i kaue nei e te ronga pai a ruka. Hanga ki roto ki a mātou i tau whānu hoki he aroha ki a pono ki a hohun ki a nōho o tāhi ai mātou i roto i te aroha me a o tamariki katoa. Ki rōtu i te kotahitanga o te wairua tapu, ko te taraiti hō ki te pēpara pai. Amine. Praise to you, Jesus Christ, our Saviour, for the good which came from Tarore's death. For by the witness of a little child you brought the tribes to peace, and by her testament you brought good news to Te Waiwhonam. We bring before you, Lord, all who are at war this day. As descendants of seemingly irreconcilable foes, we ask you to be with all who suffer the violence in Gaza and Israel and Ukraine. to comfort those whose lives have been blighted and terrorized by the ambitions of those who fail to see your face in your children. We pray for peace. And we pray for the day when the descendants of those who now suffer may live side by side that we may be reconciled in the day that is to come when no longer shall we practice war but live in your peace and see your face. We ask this in the name of the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mata mare e tātua kore nei e tai e ta whakāro e te aka kata ngākau kata hiningāro i rōti e karai di ihu. A kia mau ki e hoki ki a koutou te manaki a te atua kāha rāwa, a ta matua, a ta tāma, a ta wairua tāku, a ene a ki tonu atu. Amen.